Prager. I chair a committee called Recovery and Resiliency that is still dealing with the aftermath of the war storm in our city history. And how to, how to make us more resilient, how to make our city more resilient. And I represent some of the hardest hit areas in the city, areas like Coney Island and other parts of Southern Brooklyn. And I like the chant before that says, solar power, worker power, and let's not forget voter power. Yeah. We're going to hold government officials accountable because the effort, you know, I am known to be very blunt in my speech. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. And to be very blunt, we cannot allow the effort to make our city more green exacerbate inequality in New York City and in this country. We will not be silent. The same forces, the same forces that have been responsible for the impact of climate change, the same forces who have been responsible for inequality in our city, in our nation, cannot be the profiteers of the effort to make our city more green. It's as simple as that. Who is building the solar panels? Who is installing the solar panels? That's right. Where are they going? Are they going in communities like Coney Island, or Canarsie, or Red Hook, yeah. or the South Bronx? Are residents from these areas helping build and install them? That's right. Mm. They should be. And what a slap in the face to the men and women of labor who have worked so hard to build up their credentials and their skills and their training for very for this very moment when we need them to build, install, and maintain and upkeep. This is why we have the outstanding workforce we have. Yep. 